symbols of hatred were found painted on the walls of a community in Philadelphia's Somerton section. The anti-Semitic graffiti was discovered near a senior apartment complex. Swastikas were painted using white spray paint. The graffiti comes right in the middle of Hanukkah celebrations. Wednesday night, the big story on Action News is the investigation into the discovery of the anti-Semitic graffiti in Philadelphia. Many people who live in that apartment building that was targeted are in fact Jewish. Yeah, Action News reporter Maggie Kent live for us now right there at the scene in Somerton with the latest on those details. Maggie. Shari and Rick, this is more than just paint on a wall. The symbols represent hate and for so many here, it's spreading fear and frustration. It haunts her basically all her life. She's the memories of World War II still haunt Arena's 86 year old mother. She called Action News to report anti Semitic graffiti near her mother's Somerton home, but was scared to show her face. The majority of the people who live there are older people, uh, immigrants from former Soviet Union. M most of them lived through the World War II. Swastika is painted using white spray paint are plastered on the walls of a small green space next to the Home Depot at Leo Mall off Bustleton Avenue near Ephraim Goldstein Apartments. Many people of Russian, Eastern European and Jewish descent live in the area. When I came here, I was crying. It's, it doesn't have to be like this in America. I love America. Police responded to the issue at around 11 this morning to investigate. The Anti-Defamation League has tracked this issue in the tri-state. There's been 15 anti-Semitic incidents reported from October 7th to December 7th, including eight incidents of harassment. Three were bomb threats against synagogues, six incidents of anti-Semitic vandalism, and one physical assault. For Irina, the saying, never again, has never been more relevant. Never again is now, because that's exactly what's happening. Now, detectives were by here in the afternoon to collect evidence and search for surveillance video as they continue this investigation. We're live in Somerton, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. Maggie, thank you.